why the exoskeleton is shorting out. So a couple of weeks ago I mentioned that there was a report of a Wismec exoskeleton mod blowing up. At that time I wasn't sure if it was user error or a problem with the device, but more reports have been popping up and Grim Green, or Nick, actually received some pictures from someone that shows that it is a problem with the device. I'll link to Nick's discussion about this from the show notes if you want to watch it, but I'll talk about it a little bit here too. So the person who sent Nick the pictures said he had the device sitting on his desk when a random puff of smoke came out of the firing switch. He took the batteries out, which were hot, but still functional. According to this person, there are two major flaws in the design that will cause the batteries to short or vent. One issue is that the 510 socket is not sealed off, which is letting e-juice into the device. As you should already know, e-juice can be messy. It spills, it leaks from tanks, and a lot of times you'll find e-juice sitting in the 510 connection of your mod. If your device is not sealed, e-juice will find its way in. So the exoskeleton doesn't have a sealed 510, which is bad enough. But on top of that, the board supposedly doesn't have any coating to prevent liquid from shorting it out. Put those two things together, and that's why we're hearing stories of the exoskeleton shorting and burning up. He showed images of the device completely taken apart to show these problems. You can see that there's e-juice and condensation all over everything, including the internal chip and wiring, uh, and that some parts of the board look fried. So if you see e-juice or condensation built up in your device, be extra cautious. I'd recommend that you stop using it entirely and reaching out to Wismec to replace it. But if you do plan to keep using your exoskeleton, you should take the batteries out when it's not in use. I definitely wouldn't leave it sitting around at home when you're not around.